Hillary Clinton is spending this Labor Day weekend campaigning in the early nominating states. She'll be in Iowa today after visiting New Hampshire yesterday. NBC's Kristen Welker is live in Newton, Iowa. Kristen. Hi, Jonathan. Good morning. Well, Secretary Clinton will be courting the labor constituency over this holiday weekend. Her goal is to move beyond this email controversy, but that gets very difficult when there continues to be this drip, drip, drip of information. And just yesterday, another revelation, Secretary Clinton acknowledging that she paid her State Department staffer, Brian Pagliano, to set up and maintain her private email server while she was Secretary of State. Now, Brian Pagliano is the same staffer who also said he was going to plead the fifth, refusing to testify before a congressional committee. So Secretary Clinton continues to want to move beyond this controversy, but it gets very difficult to do that. She, of course, gave that big interview to NBC's Andrea Mitchell, expressed regret for using a private email account, and then we had another revelation on Saturday. So today she will be here trying to turn the page. She'll be focused on the the economy on jobs, but nipping at her heels, Bernie Sanders. His surge has been fueled by an anti-establishment sentiment here in Iowa and other places. Also, of course, by that email controversy, he is in within striking distance of her, within just seven points of Secretary Clinton, according to the latest poll. Now, looking forward, it is going to be a very busy 48 hours. A lot of the candidates expected to be out on the campaign trail during this Labor Day holiday, and a lot of eyes are going to be on Vice President Joe Biden. He will be marking Labor Day in the battleground state of Pennsylvania as he continues to mull a run. Jonathan. Kristen Welker in Iowa, thanks. Yesterday at a campaign event in New Hampshire, Hillary Clinton stressed her commitment to more than half of the American public. And these are not new fights for me. You know, I'm happy to have others join the fight. I'm happy to have people discover some of these problems. You know, too often, too often these are called women's issues. Well, I am a proud, lifelong fighter for women's issues because I firmly believe What's good for women is good for America. Those remarks coming in the midst of an important weekend for the former first lady. It was 20 years ago this weekend during a speech in Beijing that Clinton famously declared women's rights are human rights. And on Friday, during her exclusive interview with NBC's Andrea Mitchell, Clinton reflected on what's happened in the decades since then. Take a listen. I, I uh, was very, uh, very humbled and proud at the same time to represent the United States and make that speech and to set forth a platform for action. Twenty years later, I would say this. Women and girls have made progress in health and in education. In, but if you look at economic rights and participation, political rights and participation, security and conflict, we have a lot to do. As a senator, as secretary of state, I argued strongly for putting women's rights at the center of foreign policy. This for me was not only a moral issue, a humanitarian issue, a, a rights and equality issue, it was a security and strategic issue. Have questions surrounding Clinton's use of a private email server clouded her campaign's focus this weekend on women's rights and women voters? Is Hillary's intended message breaking through all of the controversy? The panel is here uh, to discuss this. What do you think? Well, Jonathan, I would say, uh, number one, we are very fortunate to have in this presidential race uh, a, a woman candidate who is effectively <laughs> addressing <laughs> the issues that plague America's women and okay. all citizens with smart solutions. And somehow and I think that's not... her name is Carly Fiorino. Oh, right. Wow, yeah. okay. But, but, no, but very seriously, to, to contend, as Hillary Clinton does, as Secretary Clinton does, that she has the unique voice in behalf of America's women is completely false. Well, hold on. I don't think she's saying anything yeah. that's false on this one. No, whatever you might think of Hillary Clinton, she has a track record on women's issues that go back decades, even before her famous Beijing speech. Okay, if, and I'm not here to knock a woman candidate, okay, but what's fair is fair, okay? Carly Fiorina might be another voice, they might agree or disagree on the approach to women's issues, which are human issues, no matter right, what right. parties. Right, right, right. Okay, no dispute but there. I think that 
one of the strong suits, no matter what you think of Hillary Clinton, is going back to her days at working for the Children's Defense Fund as the first lady of Arkansas, Arkansas. and even mm -hmm. before that, frankly, working with the fund. And with, uh, so, so I think we have to put that speech and what she did in New Hampshire yesterday mm -hmm. was trying to rally her troops around one of the most non-controversial aspects of her strong, indisputable record. And actually, by the way, I don't think the message that she welcomes the fight uh, on women's issues, I don't think she was talking about Fiorina on this one. She had some other boys and, in mind. Yeah, 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 specifically boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Because, because she knows full well that a lot of these candidates are not going to be able to have anything to say. Um, and, and, I think, and I think it's important that because of what Hillary Clinton has been talking about, it, you know, she has brought together this idea that, yeah, women are humans. Uh, and therefore, and therefore think, these I issues matter to everybody, Wait, you know. And but, unfortunately, but, too many politicians don't realize that. But let's put this in that. the context, though. You know, campaigns happen on several levels. Mm -hmm. Her campaign also put out a video where, I mean, I mean to prove my point that Fiorina is not the, in this mm -hmm. one of the issue, her, the Clinton campaign put out a uh, video ad slamming uh, her, her main rivals uh, using their you know, best of quotes mm -hmm. that put them just on the wrong side of women's issues. Jeb uh, Bush talking about how much money we spend right. on women's health mm -hmm. and just ridiculous things that some of these other candidates have said. So that's what you're seeing now is that she's rallying to her strength. You know, the endorsement yesterday of Senator Jean Shaheen in New Hampshire, absolutely no surprise. Mm -hmm. Jean Shaheen and her husband, who is the state party chairman, have long been Clinton's supporters. So what they're trying to do really is mm -hmm is rally the troops in New Hampshire to cut into the inroads that are seen being made by Bernie Sanders. You, 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 know what's, you know what's interesting here is that eight, year, eight years ago, during the 2008 campaign, Hillary Clinton running as a woman running for president was right. not at the forefront of her campaign. She ran away from it. I'm going to play um, a, a, a soundbite of, a, of one of Hillary Clinton, something Hillary Clinton said, and then I'll get your <laughs> oh. reaction on the other side. where everyone, everyone has a shot at achieving their dreams and living up to their potential. And yes, where a father can say to his daughter, you can be anything you want, even President of the United States of America. And, and so we, we talked about Jeb Bush talking about taking away funding from women's programs. Right. We have Donald Trump and his many oh. sort yeah. of no. anti-woman things he has said and um, uh, proposals that he has. How do you, compete, uh, how Jonathan, do you compete with that? Go ahead. Respectfully, <laughs> let's get away from the noise and get down to the fundamentals. Mm. Uh, in particularly in these past several years of, uh, I would contend non-recovery, or at the very least insufficient recovery from a terrible economic blow uh, many, mm -hmm. in, several years ago, which is attributable actually at its root to bad government policy. But we have women in this country who are trying to put food on the table, take care of their children, take care of their families, who are disproportionately advantages by, disadvantaged by bad policies that originate from Hillary Clinton uh, and her party. She supports policies that have massively transferred Can I tell wealth you how well that let, let me finish for just a moment. Sorry. Transferred finish, then wealth real quick, then we gotta go. <laughs> from American families, from American women to the powerful and the advantaged through government programs like raising health insurance costs oh, come unreasonably, on. the cost of mortgages, the cost of college education, the value of savings has gone down. We are punishing the middle class and working right. people but when with you, bad policies that Hillary Clinton supports. And now the counterpoint. The counterpoint right. is Mitt Romney tried mightily last time around to make just an economic issue to get women voters. It did not work. You can't ignore Republican stands on a variety of other issues, including mm -hmm. abortion, when you talk about looking for the women's votes and looking for someone who is seen as a champion, not just Donald Trump who cherishes women, okay? <laughs> You're looking for somebody who is a champion of everything, of a whole package of things out there, mm -hmm. not just the economic but if proposals. You don't, but if you but don't no, no, have economic course. security, no, no, I know that everybody's, you can't everybody, take care of yourself everybody talks about that, but let's not use this to segue into the broader 
issue of economic policy. And, 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 it, it has and, proven and, not to win women voters if you just focus on that. And that's going to have to be the last word on, on this piece. We can talk about it more during the break, but still ahead, taking on Donald Trump, why one radio host is defending his interview with the front runner. But first, the latest on the search for the person who shot and killed a police officer in Illinois. That's next. Stay with us.